You're watching Fort Wayne Reader Presents live on stage from C to G in downtown Fort Wayne. Now here's your host, Sean Smith and Fatima Washington. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Live On Stage. I'm Sean Smith. And I'm Fatima Washington. Tonight, Live On Stage is proud to welcome Possum Trot Orchestra. Now, Sean, I understand that you've had a chance to interview them before for the Fort Wayne Reader. That's correct. So what can you tell us about them? Nothing that the music couldn't say better. But I will tell you that John Minton is originally from Texas and Susie and Rob Sirachi originally from the Chesapeake Bay Area. And thank goodness they both migrated and met here in Fort Wayne or we wouldn't be hearing some of the lovely songs we'll be playing for us tonight. Well, that's a good thing. Later on in the show, Sean is going to have an exclusive interview with the band. But now, here's Possum Trot Orchestra. And this is Ed, a song for the Katrina homeless of 2005 and 2006 and probably 2007. Yeah, eight, nine. It's called Ed. said this one would be at least a four so we hammered up the plywood and we headed to the store bought enough provisions so we wouldn't have to go because this is all we have you see and this is a 
from the Possum Trot Orchestra when the Fort Wayne Reader Presents Live on Stage returns. the region's hottest talent and best original music, Fort Wayne Reader Presents Live On Stage continues. This segment is brought to you by Fort Wayne Media Group. Welcome back to Fort Wayne Reader Presents Live On Stage. The folks in the Possum Trot Orchestra are all really well versed at their instruments and play some of the best Americana music around. Later on in the show, I'll sit down with a few of them for an exclusive interview. Right now, here's more with Possum Trot Orchestra. One, two, three.
Coming up, an exclusive interview with some of the members of the best orchestra, the Possum Trot Orchestra. <laughs> Fort Wayne's home for rock and roll for over 26 years. WCKZ, Roanoke, WXKE, Fort Wayne, Rock 104, the real rocker. Welcome home, Rock 104. Showcasing the region's hottest talent and best original music, Fort Wayne Reader presents Live on Stage Continues. This segment is brought to you by C2G Ministry. I'm joined now by half of the Possum Trot Orchestra. Would you please go ahead and introduce yourselves to the viewing public? Susie Sirachi. And I'm John Minton, and not in the picture are Rob Sirachi and Dave Carthol. Definitely. In, in the house. Very much influential, Word. very much part of the band. Absolutely. A absolutely uh, essential. Uh, you guys are the, 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 the main songwriters of the band, correct? For now, yeah. For now, <laughs> yeah. So we can light a fire under Dave and Rob, but we're working on them. <laughs> Rob did a really good job with that Blind Lemon Jefferson oh, song. Oh, it's just awesome. I love, the, that, love that song. Yeah. It's just great. The arrangement and the phrasing is just amazing. Uh, just, uh, and it's uh, Bad Luck Blues. Bad Luck Blues. And what I love about it is that uh, it's so, in a way, subversive because it's just got like the skip and this like real like spry melody to it. And just like, you, and then you stop hearing the lyrics and you're like, well, this guy's kind of down though. Yeah, you know? well, that's a, a lot of folk music is that way. You've got a very jaunty melody and a very uh, very down lyric, and it's kind of the disjunction is a lot of the impact. Yeah, right on. I you like that. Did, I love did it. Did a great job on it. And Susie, you've got some angry in the right way, political songs almost on this album. A handful. There's the house that we can't buy. Yeah. There's mm -hmm. uh, the content of your news, which deals with radio and TV, and now mm -hmm. it's not Control quite the fair media. and balanced. Yeah, yeah. And also the uh, Ed song about Katrina. Uh -huh. So, are there any more that didn't make it to the album, or was it just a? Why don't we leave that? This is some other semi-political stuff. Harbor Road, the title track. Sure. Is, uh, uh, Reminds me also of a, Atlantic City, almost kind of thing, of Bruce yeah, Springsteen. Uh, well, that's that's flattering. I hadn't thought of that, but <laughs> maybe, maybe unconsciously, yeah, I'm cribbing from from Bruce. <laughs> Steal from the right places. That's right. That's right. Another influence that I hear, and uh, I mean this again in the in the best way, but the uh, the song you guys, um, uh, "Heart Like Railroad Steel," you performed tonight. It's yeah, like a, a Richard right. and Linda Thompson, almost and almost kind of like a Fleetwood Mac. 
sound huh. in there. Uh, we were thinking more of Stones. Stones? <laughs> Stones? Yeah. Uh, the inspiration That's good. That's good. Is, is Charlie Patton, <clears throat> the Heart Like Railroad Steel, was in it, one of his lines. He actually had a song called Heart Like Railroad Steel, and he used it in some of his other blues, a rat, okay. rattlesnake blues, and okay. snuck it in. So uh, the Delta Blues was kind of the inspiration. But, okay. Uh, uh, I know what the other political song is, Billy. Oh, Billy, yeah. yeah, I think, yeah. Uh, Again, and that so. rhymes, and maybe I should just stop doing this, but uh, Sam Stone by John Prine. I, I, can, I can hear some uh, John Prine. Which he's coming Probably. next year uh, to play at the embassy. Are you guys going to open? Well, well sure. if he asks us, <laughs> we haven't Please. gotten the call yet, but John, if you're watching the show. <laughs> it uh, only makes sense. We go way back with We're you. in the book, yeah. <laughs> Why, I mean, to me, it's, it's a natural progression from the last album. But I mean, Harbor Road kicks off the album and also kicks off like kind of like this new, fuller, richer song sound. Contemporary. Almost. Too, yeah, yeah. yeah. Was that was that just <clears> natural, <throat> or was it kind of you know was it an approach you want to try? Well, yeah. In in a lot of ways, I think it's more a return to our roots actually. Because okay. Because we all started out playing rock and roll. I mean, True. growing up in the South, you were surrounded by roots music, but we all started out playing rock and then sort of gravitated back to the sources. I, right on. I started playing bluegrass and and blues uh, when I was in high school, going down to see you know Light Lightning Hopkins and those okay. folks were still alive in Houston and. Uh, but, uh, you know, rock was, was always my first love, and I think it's pretty much the same way with Susie and uh, Rob and even Dave, <laughs> though he might not admit it. But uh, Who does some great mandolin work on oh, the album. Yeah, Dave's yeah, awesome. yeah. He swings. Uh, he's yeah. just a complete field musician. You were kind enough to give me an advanced copy, and as soon as it was over, I had to hear it again. Oh, good. Okay. And it literally, <clears> I, don't, I don't know if, if you'll believe me, but it literally bumped off one of my top ten favorite albums this year, and you guys are now number seven on my top oh, ten. Oh, wow. Okay. It's that good, wow. folks. You need to run out and get the Harbor Road, new album by uh, Possum. Harbor Chuck Road, yeah. Thanks again for being with us. Tonight. Oh, hey, Sean, it's, it's so great. Thanks you to you and the reader for having us. It's, it's been welcome. a real blast. Thanks a lot. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Sean. Coming up, we'll tell you how you can send your comments to us and another performance by Possum Trout Orchestra when Live on Stage returns. Fort Wayne Media Group is a television production company for Live On Stage. And with over 15 years in the television and radio industry, Fort Wayne Media Group brings quality audio and video services to northeastern Indiana. From big projects like Live On Stage to smaller projects like weddings, Fort Wayne Media Group excels in audio video production. Contact them by phone at 260-423-2365 or online at fortwaymediagroup.com. Showcasing the region's hottest talent and best original music, Fort Wayne Reader presents Live on Stage Continues. This segment is brought to you by Rock 104. Hi, this is Susie Sirachi. I'm John Minton. Dave Carthal. And Rob Sirachi. And you're watching... Fort Wayne Reader presents... Live, Live on Stage! stage. Two, three, four.
just about out of time, but you can drop us a line and let us know what you think by sending an email to info at fortwainreader.com. Or you can check us out at myspace.com backslash fwreader live on stage. I was checking out the other day because I love the web to surf, and you can actually check out past episodes of live on stage, so that could be fun. It does, yeah. The folks that played tonight, the Possum Trot Orchestra, just released a fantastic new album called Harbor Road. It's available at Borders, Fort Wayne's very fine independent record store, Wooden Nickel, the North Anthony location only, or again, when you're checking out the stuff on the websites, cdbaby.com. You can get all the Possum Trot stuff there. Highly recommend it. At least three copies. One for you, one for the car, one for a friend. Get one for your mom before she gets you. Christmas. <laughs> well, that's all we have. So here's more with Possum Trot Orchestra. We'll see you next week. Bye.